In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals 1 over x squared plus 4x take away 45. So first thing we want to do is factorise that denominator. So that's 1 over, and that'll be x plus 9x minus 5. OK? So vertical asymptotes will exist when the denominator is 0, so that'll be at minus 9 and 5. So minus 9 can go there. And 5 can go there. OK? Right, how about where it crosses the x-axis? Well, that would be uh, need y to be 0. Um, that's when the numerator is 0, but the numerator is 1, which can never be 0, so it won't cross the x-axis. How about where it crosses the y-axis? That's when x is 0. So we'll have 1 over minus 45. So minus 1 over 45 can go there. Right, how about horizontal asymptote? Well, because the order of the polynomial in the numerator is 0, and less than the order of the polynomial in the denominator, which is 2, that must mean that y is 0 will be a horizontal asymptote. You can show that by dividing top and bottom by x squared, if you want to do it this way. Um, and then you can clearly see that um, once you've got that, that will tend to 0 as x tends to positive or negative infinity. Okay? So, y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. Right, so what must this curve be doing? Well, in order to cross the minus 1 over 45 on the y-axis and to tend towards these two asymptotes and not be allowed to cross uh, the y equals 0 line, because that's the x-axis and we know it doesn't cross the x-axis. So it must be coming up like this through that point and then do something like that. Okay? As for the other two parts of the graph, uh, we would need to check. So if we try x is equal to 6 and have a look, on, is it down here or is it up here? So on the top, we've got positive because it's just 1. Then we've got 6 plus 9, which is positive. 6 take away 5 is positive. And so positive over positive. So we're up here. And then for x equals minus 10, we've got a positive which because of 1. Minus 10 plus 9 is negative. Minus 10 take away 5 is negative. Positive over positive. And so we're up here. And so this is what the curve would look like.